Hello there! In this video, I will take a look at the new version of CLA Mixup. In the latest version 15 update, it has been given high resolution graphics. I've inserted the Mixup plugin on all tracks of this little song, and I will now assign them to the buckets. So let's switch to the bucket view, click on Assign. The song is only 4 tracks, so I will assign all the tracks to bucket 1. Bass, keys, guitar and drums. We can stay in the bucket view, I will do this in this case and start with adjusting the level of the tracks. I think I will start keeping it this way. I will also turn the input gain down a bit because the song is a bit too loud um, and it starts slipping and when I start to tweak the settings. So turn the line gain down a bit to have enough headroom here. We can also adjust the mid gain uh, to add some analog distortion. No low cut for the bass. High cut at around 10k. I cut at around 8 or 9k for the guitar. Thirty hertz low cut for the drums. Let's switch to the EQ. Some more highs for the bass. I set the cut at around 400 hertz. And some annoying frequency here. That's better. And I will also set the cut at around 100 hertz. I may change this later. Well, let's turn over to the keys. I'll turn the output down a bit. Set a cut at around 1 kilohertz. Another cut at around 300 hertz. I will boost the guitar at 3 kilohertz. And another cut at around 1.5 kilohertz. Instead of uh, cutting the 100 hertz, I will Boost the low, the, the sub frequency band of the bass a bit at around 30 hertz. Get rid of some muddiness at around 500 hertz at the drums. Slight boost at around 60 hertz. Let's try to add a bit mic in here. I think I will also activate uh, some noise for the keys. So let's adjust the dynamic section. And we can switch the compressor type from the desk to the bluey, that's the 1176 ref A. The bluey sounds a bit crunchier. I 
I'll switch to a fast attack for the keys here to catch some peaks. It's lower release time. Let's switch the EQ at the guitar to mid side. Expand the EQ section. I will increase the high band to make the guitar sound a bit wider. Alright, that's it for the video, I hope you enjoyed watching and if you liked it maybe you want to give me a thumbs up or even subscribe to my channel, that would be really nice. So maybe we will see you next time. Have a nice day, bye bye. Thank you for watching.